We have a really strong partnership with the Department of Human Services, State of Minnesota. Both DHS and Mahabiatwa really believe in centering families in our work. If we think about a whole family approach, we know that people need many different programs and many different services. I have made it my mission to ensure that I'm really connected with community partners and hearing from people that are receiving our programs and our policies. But the impact that we have on the people externally, right. we need to have that voice. When they understand we know our communities, we know our families best, and so they, they've always been strong listeners. It's important for us to ensure that our community partners have all the tools necessary so that they can do that good work. I have a client um, needing some information on housing. The department has, for a long time, had a vision and mission around having a combined application. We ask very specific questions that get to um, resolve some of the issues that they're having. How's your childcare? Can we help you with housing? Can we help you with these things? And, and through that, we can qualify them right here in our office for both the public systems and then the private systems that we have. Our final application went through 58 iterations before we got it right. Went from two hours on a paper application to 12 minutes. We didn't have it in different languages, so this uh, is now in Spanish and more languages to come. And our applications have either doubled or tripled. So Mahabiatwa stands for the first two letters of the five counties we serve, Manoman, Hubbard, Becker, Ottertail, Wadena. It's about 5,000 square miles in west central and northwest Minnesota. One of the challenges of serving rural areas is just the sheer distance of reaching people. There's no public transit to speak of. Here in our community, we have a significant Native American population. We do our work largely by word of mouth and trying to build trusting relationships. As Minnesota has become much more culturally aware, we have um, been working really closely with our tribal partners. To create the tribal office, there needs to be funding, staffing, and priority. Some of our legislation explicitly prohibited tribes from being a, a beneficiary. And so we changed legislation. Community organizations and tribes may apply. And that opened up millions and millions of dollars for our tribal partners. We've done a number of things. We started with some just signage in our offices that welcome people in, in Ojibwe. We hired Wayne Soames, who has experience working for Mahabiatwa, is Ojibwe himself. Part of his work is a Native American medicine garden. This is sweetgrass, so the Ojibwe call it wingushk. That's one of the four Ojibwe medicines. We have also been seeing that American Indians in Minnesota have actually had uh, improved outcomes because they are actually receiving services in ways that make sense to them. She first started with the Mojave Atwa because she was looking for help for her and her family. We were homeless, um, bunking with family and friends. I went to Mojave and they helped me get into housing. My family coach would help me set goals and we would work on them weekly. My kids are very happy, very proud of myself. I've come a long ways. Now she has her transportation, she has her employment, and I'm just so proud of her. I just hope to go off to college and own my own house with a big yard for my kids to run and play. I love working with the program. They helped me change my life. <laughs>